Let's create a coffee cup. Add a cylinder. Go into edit mode. Select this face on top. Press I one time. Insert it a little bit. Press E. Extrude it down a little bit. Then we can go to this side view. We can toggle X-ray so we can see it through the mesh. Then we can move it down as much as we want. I will put it there. I will put it there. Doesn't matter. Okay. While it's selected, hold shift and select this uh, face down here. We can go into side view again. Doesn't matter. And then we can press S to scale it down a little bit. Like that. Something like that. Let's add some loop cuts. Uh, go out of X-ray mode to, to make it easier to see what you're doing. So we will add some loop cuts by pressing Ctrl plus R, and then we will scroll our mouse wheel a few times. Doesn't matter. Left click and right click. Then we want to select some uh, faces. Just press one face up here. Press Shift. Select another one down here. Okay. Now press I two times to insert them by within themselves like this. Now press E one time, extrude them, extrude them a little bit. Now uh, I will be using bridge edge loop to make them connect with each other. But to make them connect with each other, they need to be facing each other. Otherwise, they won't work. So I will select these edges here like this you can do this as you want basically but I like to do it this way we select these normals okay now we move this uh, blue here in a little bit okay now we select these faces here and here and now we press our assigned key that we have to open this menu and type Bridge edge loop or control E. We can press control E. Control E. Bridge edge loops there. Okay, now we press this and then we add number of cuts. Like this. It looks it looks okay. But for it to make even better, we need to add a subdivision modifier or surface. Subdivision surface. And now it might look a little bit weird, so we may change these values a little bit. Doesn't matter. Now we can go into object mode and shade smooth. Now it will look much better. Much, much better. Okay. To make it look even better, we will select, or we will actually create a loop cut at, up here and move it closer to the top here to make this edge more sharp and we can make it on the inside too like that and to make this top also more sharp we can press one here or select one face up here then we can hold alt and then we can insert this and press i if you have that if you look like it did to me just yet there Okay, we select this face down here also. Press I, move it up a bit. Press I again. Okay, perfect. And we will do the same down here. Press I, perfect. Now it's a coffee cup. And uh, now the coffee cup is basically done. You can model it as you want, but I will show you also how to render this so it looks nice. Okay, so. We will create a plane, scale it up a bit, maybe scale this down a little bit also. Then we will add this snap tool and select faces. Now when we press G, Z, mark this face or this plane, I'd say. Now it stands on the plane. Okay, it's not floating there. We'll change the render view to viewport shading. And we will change this to Cycles or Eevee. You do it as you want. But for this tutorial, I will be using Cycles. Okay, but now 
it's gray. We're we are not seeing anything right now. So let's create a shader a shader and um, let's create a world shader. And now you can add a ArchDRI or we can press Shift A and search for sky, sky texture. Okay, we add this in here and now it's very bright so we can turn this down a little bit. Okay, and now in this shader texture or sky texture, we can change the air, we can change the dust and the ozone. And it doesn't matter how you do it, you can make it as you like. And uh, oh, I, I'm satisfied, satisfied with this, it doesn't matter really. Okay, now we have some light. And to make it more interesting to look at, I will add a texture to the cup. And we'll call it cup. Sorry, cup. And I will make it a gray color. But now it's not reflecting any light as we want. It's very matted color. So we will turn the roughness down. And now it's almost like a mirror. So I will turn it up just a little bit like that. Okay, that's perfect. Now we see it reflects some light, but it's not too, too much. Okay, okay. So I will change this. I will add the denoiser to the viewport and I will change this to 500. Okay, so now my computer behaves much smoother. And uh, we will take this settings later. Okay, let's add a camera in the scene. We because we need a camera to render. Okay, now um, I kind of like this view that I have here. So I will. Oh, first I will go out of the shader viewport because it's uh, not. Uh, it's too slow to work in. Okay, so align. Align active camera to view. Okay, now so. Now the camera is aligned with our view. We can move it around. Change this, okay. Now we can move it around. Let's add a, another material to the plane. We will name it plane. We will make it, let's make it uh, some, some color. It doesn't matter. We can take that and we can turn the roughness down. So we make take have this shiny, shiny surface so it reflects a lot of light okay let's crank this up make it a mirror now the roughness is at zero and the metallic is at one don't change the specular so now it's looking kind of good we can change the roughness here on the coffee cup a little bit more so it gets more shiny okay now it's looking pretty good I'd say it's looking pretty good so I will change the render settings to make it 124 or 1024 and then the denoiser is set to accurate threshold is set to 0.01 let's check the light paths okay we have transmission at 12 that's good but we can change this transparent to zero because we doesn't we don't have anything in the scene that's transparent we only have things that are transmission that reflects lights okay now I will render this and now it's done perfect it took me 44 seconds to render and uh, it's looking okay the coffee cup is not the best looking cup but it's still a coffee cup so if you like this video don't forget to leave it a like and if you want to see more of this content, don't forget to subscribe. So I will see you in the next video. Bye.